All right, so I got my Hobie Lynx here. And I'm trying to put a kill guard here, but I'm too cheap to buy the expensive one, so. I cut out, what, like one of those, uh, I guess, inner tube. And uh, cut out about a two inch long, I mean two inch wide by what, 16 inch long strip to cover my keel. And I'm gonna attach it with this. And then on top of that, I'm gonna put this Gorilla Tape patch seal on top of it. And I think it's a four inch wide. Four by 10, yep. So yeah, I'm just gonna cover the bottom of my Hobie Lynx right there with this setup. And yeah, I'll show you the finished product later. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so after putting all those uh, Gorilla Tape and uh, rubber stripping, that's how my Hobie Links look now. So down here, yeah, I know it looks ugly, but yeah, I just did my best. So you can see the rubber strip that I put underneath, and then on top of it, I placed, uh, what do you call this, Gorilla Tape, um, patch seal over it and then same thing with this one underneath there's the rubber stripping on top of it is the extra strong gorilla tape seal and then same thing on the other side on this part right here of my hobie links well, actually I just placed uh, just a uh, Gorilla tape sealant, or what do you call it? So yeah, this part I just placed the uh, with no rubber underneath, just a gorilla tape uh, patch and seal. Same thing on the other side, and then the area where it's not so critical, I just put regular put on um, gorilla tape, the regular ones, just to prevent you know more scratching. And that's about it. That's my uh, cheapo way of protecting my Hobie links. And uh, yeah, hopefully it'll do the job, at least for a couple trip. And this was the tape that I used. So this one's the Gorilla Tape Patch and Seal. So this is super sticky and it's thicker than the regular type gorilla tape but yeah that's it that's what i used so hopefully it works